Hello from Slovenia again. Today I have a playing with paint day again. <laughs> and I tried to save one of my uh, pores. And I think that I um, I'm up to something and I want to try it here with you. So I'm using my split cup again. Uh, you can check my description box for a link to this store on Etsy. You can also code for 50% off on every cups and Chris, the owner, yesterday add flower-shaped cup to the store too, and it's we worked, not we. It was my idea, and he worked <laughs> on this, and it it's it can be used for open cup or regular kind of flower dips or what you want to do with it it's it is separating on two parts so I didn't um, get it yet because uh, it takes a lot of time to get things whoops from states so when I will get it, I will do a review of this cup, but you can still check and if you want, you can order it too. But till then, I just can say that I think that it should work okay, but I can try it. So let's go to today's pour. Okay, and I will just try to tilt it just a little bit like this. Uh, all the colors that I'm using will be listed in the description box below this video so if you will like them you can check them there and I will pour a little white around to help this paint flow So, I don't know, maybe I will even like this so much that I will not want to mess with it like I did with the pour that <laughs> I did and really like the final result then, but let's see what will happen. Thank you. 
Okay. I'll just move my paints while I'm doing this. Sorry for glare. to go to this corner a little bit okay and back and to this corner Okay, and back. It's so weird how this violet looks blue on camera. This is Amsterdam blue violet. A little over this edge, okay, and back. And over here, and back. sides and corners later and Last time that I uh, told you that uh, I did an experiment that uh, really came out nice, I did this part and I wasn't happy at all. And what I did is, I said that I will do my sides later and now I'm messing with them. I know that maybe some of you will say leave it, it's beautiful. I will try to do like this if it will. No, you still have a glare. Just a second. Hope that this will be better. Yes, it is. So, It is kind of nice, but for my taste, nothing so special. So, what I will do is, I will pop up my air bubbles first. I just have to uh, put my paints off the table because I don't want want any silicone in it and I will use silicone this time and I will use this Pebeo just a second Pebeo silicone oil because I find this silicone re really easy to clean 
I'll try to bring you a little closer and I will just add a few drops on my hand just a second I did it on my left hand this is not and I will just Sprinkle it on top, all over. Okie dokie. I will wash my hands. And wait a second or two. It's not uh, that uh, if I torch it that I will do something because uh, there is no silicone in the bottom under the paint so that's why it's not necessary to 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 torch so and now i can try to spin it maybe once more just to maybe get rid of this white cells around And when you look at this uh, in whoop, up close, oh, I almost throw this. Just a second. Just have to. You will see when I will take you down for a close up how interesting this looks because you got kind of uh, an impression that this is something that somebody draw or something so I hope that you can see see this it almost looks like that you watch something underwater or something isn't it or this is just my I will just try to just a second to turn my lights off yes much better because now you can see that there is violet too can you see all these 
things that are happening here but it looks like it's underwater or something see so if you don't like some ring pour that you do or something maybe you can try to do this and give a painting a little something extra or how can I say see maybe I should have used a little more contrast in in I don't know probably some white would would be nice or some um, I don't know but still I really hope that you can see all those effects on camera because in real they are just gorgeous it really looks like something that you would see if you watch if you look into the water or something see so <laughs> Tell me what you think about this. Are you so, I don't know, overwhelmed? Do you like it? I know that a lot of people don't like silicone and you know that I don't use silicone much, but I was just trying to save and just did this on my previous pour and I get some reaction that I saw that maybe this has a potential so I don't know how to call this technique lazy straight pour I don't know because definitely I didn't see anyone before do this with ring pour, straight pour or something I really want to, to, to know what you think about this please tell me in the comments and share and like if you like this and see you on the next one bye